Now let's implement a drag and drop handler. So I'm going to create a new file and save this as drop handler. And this is going to be a class as well. And the constructor for this is going to take two things. It's going to take a target, which is a jQuery element that uh, I can drag onto. And it's also going to take a progress dialog so that it can display information and status. So basically the UI stuff is all going to be here and the drop handling stuff is all going to be here. And then the way I'm going to call this is in my uploader.js after I've gotten my progress dialog, I'm going to create a new drop handler. And I'm going to pass it in the target, which I could either have a div box on my form, on my page, or what I'm going to do is I want to have the whole page be active. So I'm going to pass in the whole document. And I'm also going to pass in my progress dialog. And I don't need this right now, so I'll get rid of that. And then I also have to make sure that I load my drop handler. And now I'm ready to do the drop handler itself. So here again, I'm going to have an, in, an init method. And what it's going to do is it's going to attach event handlers to target. And I need to support um, drag enter, drag leave, drag over, and drop events. So target dot drag over target.on, drag over is going to be a function and it's going to take an event and I'm going to do some stuff with that but the first thing I need to do is event.stop propagation and event dot prevent default. And the reason that I have to do these things has to do with the way events bubble up. So basically they happen um, at uh, the lowest level element and then the parent and parent and parent and so on. And since I want to have my own um, event handling and I only want to get the events one time, um, that's why I do this, to basically block getting the same notice over and over again. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then for now, and then I'm just going to make four copies of this. So that's drag over, drag enter, drag leave, and drop. So let's see what we get. Go ahead and reload. And now I need some files to drag, so I have some demo images. And I'm just going to take one. And so when I drag over, didn't get anything. Oh, because I forgot to call my init method. So I defined it, but I didn't call it.
reload. So I have my drag enter and I keep getting drag overs. But like if I drag over this, you'll see I get another drag enter when I enter this small one. And then I also get a drag leave when I leave the outer one. So that's a little confusing and something we need to track. Basically, you keep getting drag enters and drag leaves, but if you pair them up, basically I have zero, now I have one, and then for a microsecond I have two, and then I'm back down to one, and then I'm down to one again, and back down to zero. So when the total drag enter count minus the total drag leave count is one, I want to show my progress dialog and when it's zero I want to hide my progress dialog. So I need to keep track of the total number of drag overs minus drag leaves. So I'm going to have a variable drag count is zero and then every time I get a drag enter I'm going to increment drag count and every time I get a drag leave I'm going to decrement drag count and then when they drop the whole thing is done so I'm going to reset drag count And then in the status messages, I'm going to add drag counts. And I'm going to get rid of this drag over one because I'm not actually going to use this for anything. I still need to provide an event handler for it or else the drop won't work. So now let's see what happens. So if I drag onto the page, drag count is zero, drag count is one. So that's because I'm doing the increment and decrement before I log. reload and now I'm at 0, I'm at 1, I'm at 2 and then 1, 2 and then 1, and then 0. Zero, one, two, zero. Zero. And then drop and I get a drop. So what I want to do here is after I've incremented the drag count, if drag count is equal equal one, then I want to progress dialog dot show and on leave if drag count equal equal zero progress dialog dot hi so watch what happens when I drag over now I get the little pop-up status and if I leave it goes away again and no matter where I drag it still stays there and then if I drop I get a drop, but this stays up. So what I want to do is handle that drop now. And let's look at what actually what we actually get in the drop. So I'm going to put a breakpoint on my drop handler. Let's make this a little bigger. So I'll put a breakpoint right there. And then I'll drag some files onto here and drop. 
So now I can look at the event that I got. What I really want is the original event. And then under there, there's a data transfer. And under here is a file list. And then each file has information about the file that's been dropped. And it includes the last modified date and the name, the size, and the MIME type. So I want to look for images here. And I'm going to need to send this to the server as well, because when the server sends the data back, it's got to include the right MIME type or else the file won't display correctly. So what I want to do in my drop handler is look at event.originalEvent.DataTransfer.Files. Event original event data transfer files and then this is not really an array so I need to loop through it using a for loop And then I'm going to call handle upload files sabai. And then I'm going to implement a handle upload method. And it's going to take a file. And for now, what I want to do is just write the data about the file to the console. And we'll write the type. And then we'll write the size. And that should be, well, we'll go ahead and write the last modified date as well. I'm not actually using it in my database, but we'll take a look at it. Okay, so we'll get rid of our breakpoint and continue, reload, go to the console, and drag, and drop. So we got three files, two pings and a JPEG. We have the size, we have the last modified date, and uh, now we have a drop handler.